Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture of ME306 Advanced Manufacturing Technology. I am Manu Joseph, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Dajigiri School of Engineering and Technology. Module number 6, lesson number 3. In this lecture, we will discuss about micro machining, diamond turning machining, advanced finishing operations like abrasive flow machining and magnetic abrasive finishing. We'll start with micro machining. Micro machining include all cutting operations in which material is removed at micron level. The micro machining is the most basic technology for the production of miniaturized parts and component and microfabrication deal with all kind of manufacturing process but at micro and nano level. So that is the removal of material in the form of chips or debris having the size of size in the range of microns. The creating micro features or surface characteristics in micro or nano level, especially surface finish. So the micro machining can be defined as the material removal at the micro or nano level with no constraint on the size of the component being machined. So micro plus machining. So the combined form is micro machining. That is the material removal at micro level. So we can have a comparison of different or we can have a classification of different micro machining processes. One is MEMS and other, uh, other one is non-MEMS. The MEMS means micro electrical mechanical systems. They are lithography based systems and non-MEMS, non-micro electrical mechanical system. They are non-lithography based process. So lithography based process we have photolithography, chemical etching, plating and liga process. And non-MEMS that is non-lithography based process they are micro mechanical cutting, micro laser cutting, patching, drilling, micro extrusion, micro embossing, micro injection molding. And the micro mechanical cutting process we have micro turning, micro milling, micro drilling, micro machining, micro grinding, micro punching and some other processes. So that is about the classification. So classification of micro manufacturing. We have two MEMS systems that is micro electrical mechanical system. We have lithography based the producing components, electronic components, micro electronic components so that we are using lithography based systems. And for non MEMS systems production, we have non lithography based. They are micro mechanical cutting, micro laser cutting, micro injection molding, etc. So why, why we are going for micro machining? Final finishing operation in manufacturing of precise parts are always of concern owing to their most critical labor intensive and least controllable nature. So moreover, there is this is the era of nanotechnology where high precision finishing methods are of utmost importance and are the need of present manufacturing scenario. The need for high precision in manufacturing was felt by the manufacturers worldwide to improve interchangeability of components and to improve the quality control and longer wear and fatigue life. Therefore, the micro products has the following advantages. Increased function or that is increased functionality reduced material requirement, reduced power requirement, less space is needed for that and less handling and transportation etc. So that is why we are going to develop more and more advanced micro machine technique to produce micro components having good functionality, reduced material requirement, reduced power requirement, less space, less handling and transportation etc. So, the micro machining is the most basic technology for the protection of miniature parts and components. My, micro turning is one type of micro machining process which use solid tool and its material removal process is almost similar to conventional turning operation. High precision that is sub micron or nano scale in terms of surface profile and dimensional accuracy become essential for the product for their performance. Therefore, we have one of the micro machining or micro machining turning process 
that is diamond turning machine diamond turning machine so diamond turning machine or diamond turn machine are ultra precision and high accuracy machine used single point crystal diamond tool that is single point diamond turning is a process of mechanical machining of precise element precision element using lathe or machine tool equipped with natural or synthetic diamond tipped tool bit single point diamond turning is one of the one of the popular method of machining precise or ultra precision optical lens and mirrors the diamond turn machining can produce surface finish and tolerance to nano scale especially required for optical element to effect to effect a smooth shearing action a very sharp edge and uniform cutting tool edge of the order of few tens to few few to 10 of nanometer is essential such fine radius is possible with hard single crystal material such as diamond so the diamond turn machine can produce surface finish and tolerance to nano scale especially required for optical element the diamond only soften at 1350 degrees celsius and melt at 3027 degrees celsius and is also the hardest material in the world so it can be used as a cutting tool to produce precise machining the cutting edge radius of single point diamond tool can be sharpened down to 20 nanometer that much small radius is possible for diamond cutting tool that means that much accuracy is obtained by diamond cutting tool so we can see a schematic of diamond cutting tool and also a video of diamond cutting tool we can see is almost similar to a normal lathe or normal machine tool where we have a chuck and spindle where we hold the workpiece and the difference is here we have very hard very sharp diamond cutting tool which can produce components of micro size or even nano size since its cutting edge radius is very small even up to 20 nanometers so that is the speciality of diamond turn machining so here we can see in the video we can see the machining of various components using diamond turn machine the precise components you can see the machining of lenses machining of optical elements with this technology so the advantages offered by diamond the crystalline structure which enable very sharp cutting edge to be produced that is up to 20 nanometers high thermal conductivity highest of any material at room temperature ability to retain high strength at a high temperature we have seen the cutting temperature or it is having hardness up to 13 27 degree celsius and it melt at 3000 degree celsius so it it able to retain high strength at high temperatures high elastic and shear moduli which reduce deformation during machining so these are some of the advantages of diamond which can be used as cutting tool so material removal mechanism in diamond turning machining so mechanical the mechanism for material removal involved plastic deformation micro fracture and dislodgement of grain that is separation of the grain so the plastic deformation then followed by micro fracture and finally the separation or dislodgement of the grains which result in the formation of chip or material removal in the form of chips that means we can remove the material at even atomic range in nano or micro machining process the material removal can be limited to few atoms or layer of atoms so single point diamond tool is sharpened to edge radius as fine as 100 nanometers 
the concept of the concept of ductile mode machining has developed for machining brittle material such as glass silicon germanium silicon carbide the mechanics of material removal are governed by tool edge radius and microstructural effects so that's the mechanism of diamond turning machining diamond turning machine some products and devices are fabricated in the manuf in the manufacturing sector by micro machine technologies are medical component we can go for medical component micro mold electronic tooling mems that is micro electrical mechanical systems fluidic circuits micro valve sensors micro turbine impeller micro compressor nozzle for diesel fuel injectors cooling holes in turbine blades micro switches, switches etc so that is the application of now we are moving to a new topic that is advanced finishing process with the demand of stringent technological and functional requirement of the parts from nano from micro to nanometer range the evolution of ultra precision finishing process become obvious need of the manufacturing scientists and engineers the traditional finishing process of this category have various limitations for example complex shape miniature size and 3d parts cannot be processed and finished economically and rapidly this lead to the development of advanced finishing technique like abrasive flow machining magnetic abrasive finishing magnetic float finishing magneto rheological abrasive finishing and iron beam machining in all these process except iron beam machining the abrasion of work piece take place in, in a controlled fashion such that the depth of penetration in the work piece is a fraction of micrometer so that the final finish approaches to its nano range the working principle and the application of these process are going to be discussed in the coming slides so the traditional finishing process has certain advantages how certain disadvantages to overcome that we have uh, advanced finishing process these are the traditional finishing process one is grinding lapping the grinding where we have a grinding wheel which is coated with abrasive material which interact with the abrasive material interact with the work piece removing material from the work piece in the form of fine fine chips then lapping use loose abrasive to finish the surface then we have honing the abrasive in the form of stones or stick carried in a expanding and oscillating mandrel are used to generate random cross mark surface with a good finish so these are the some of the these are some of the traditional finishing process but they have certain limitations limitations so we develop the advanced finishing process the first advanced finishing process we we are going to discuss is abrasive flow machining af abrasive flow machining was identified in 1960s as a method as a method to deburr polish and reduce difficult to reach surface and engage edges by flowing an abrasive laden viscoplastic polymer over them it used two vertically opposing cylinders which extrude an abrasive medium back and forth through passage formed by the workpiece and tooling the abrasion occur wherever the medium passes through the restrictive passages the key component of afm are machine the tooling the type of abrasive medium co composition and process setting so that's about the afm in afm we have two cylinders they are opposing which contains an abrasive medium a fluid medium a fluid poly polymer which contain abrasive particles due to the movement of piston in the opposing cylinder this abrasive laden polymer viscoplastic fluid will move back and forth and this abrasive material interact with the surf work surface removing material in the form of fine chips in nanometer or micrometer range here 
we can see the video of a form where we have the workpiece in the form of an aerofoil we load this workpiece into the a form machine where we have two cylinders with opposite piston which move or which reciprocate causing this abrasive material laden polymer to move back and forth and it interact with the work material that is the airfoil section and it remove the material in the form of fine chips here we can see a single uh, abrasive material which is laden or which which is surrounded with polymer material so due to the movement of the piston this will move this liquid this polymer together with the abrasive material will move back and forth and this abrasive material interact with these surfaces this is the work surface this is the work surface and this interact with the work surface and as a result the radial force like this and the axial force is acting and it causes the removal of material in the form of fine chips from the work surface that is how material removal take place in abrasive flow machining this is this is another diagram where we can see uh, a abrasive flow machining with two piston we can see a tooling this is a tooling where we are holding the workpiece this is the workpiece and this is abrasive then a polymeric medium the piston move back and forth we can see the arrow and how the workpiece and abrasive material interaction take place and we here we can see rough surface of the workpiece and when it interact with the abrasive material uh, so microchipping will take place from workpiece surface to form microchips we can see microchips and as a result we will get a fine surface uh, from irregular surface to a flat surface and also it's a finishing operation so that's so here we can see the experimental setup of a from abrasive flow machine we have an upper cylinder upper hydraulic cylinder a lower hydraulic cylinder we can see and workpiece fixture and we have a hydraulic unit that give the power for operation so these are some of the process parameters of afm that is extrusion pressure number of cycle grid composition and type and fixture design so the abrasive action accelerates by changing the rheological properties of medium when it enters and passes through the restrictive passage so we are keeping the workpiece in a restrictive passage so there is a change in the rheological properties of the medium viscosity to the polymeric medium play an important role in the finishing operation here so that is why uh, the viscosity of the polymer medium is one of the parameter that is machining parameter in af it allow it allows or this allows it to selectively and controllably abrade the surface that it flows across workpiece held by the fixture is placed between two medium cylinders which are clamped together to seal so that the medium does not leak during finishing process in the previous slide we have seen so where we are keeping the workpiece and and this section should be sealed properly so that uh, during the working there should not be any leakage three major elements of the process are the tooling which confines and directs the abrasive medium flow to the areas where deburring radi radiusing and surface improvement are desired the machine to control the process variable like extrusion pressure median flow flow rate etc the then the third one the abrasive laden polymeric medium whose rheological properties determine the pattern and aggressiveness of the abrasive action so that also a major element so the major elements are tooling 
the machine which controls various process parameters then the polymeric medium to viscosity one of the parameters is viscosity and its temperature dependence all these are the elements of AFM here we can see the surface um, the surface of abrasive flow machined surface so this is the surface this is the surface properties or surface surface before machining or before finishing this is the surface after finishing here we can see this is an irregular surface but after AFM we, here we can see a flat surface so this is a 500x photomicrograph showing the complete removal of EDM recast layer so this is a re EDM EDM workpiece so electric discharge machine the workpiece after performing electric discharge machining some surface properties surface irregularities are there and this is after AFM so it get converted to this this much surface finish so AFM process utilize, utilizes an abrasive medium applied at high pressure to through a workpiece one-way flow AFM processing pushes abrasive medium through the workpiece in only one direction so only one direction flow is taking place allowing the medium to exit freely from the pot the two-way flow AFM process uses two vertically opposed cylinder to extrude an abrasive medium back and forth through or around passages formed by the workpiece and the tool. That is about two-way AFM. Previously we have seen the video that is two-way AFM. Now the advantages. There are a number of advantages. The improved surface quality high product life, reduced friction, and high fatigue properties, etc. Tight tolerance, produce uniform, repeatable, and predictable results. Excellent process controls, able to process large parts, deburring, ra radiusing, and policing are performed simultaneously in a single operation. AFM can process dozen of hole or multiple passenger, passages parts simultaneously these are the advantages some disadvantages low MRR material removal rate and also expensive some important application it is widely used for finishing process to finish complicated shapes and profiles the process used in aerospace medical and automobile tool and die industries to achieve better surface finish and high tolerance improve surface quality reduction in friction eliminate imperfections so we are using this AFM mainly in uh, aerospace medical automobile and tool and die industries where we get better surface finish reduction in friction eliminate imperfections so that is about advanced flow abrasive flow finishing or abrasive flow machining AFM now we are moving to another type of finishing operation magnetic abrasive finishing so magnetic abrasive finishing so from the name itself it's clear that some magnetic field involvement is here is there so here here we can see the video of and magnetic abrasive finishing we can see the magnetic particles which act as a medium so there should be some magnetic excitation and the magnetic particles is acting between the tool and the workpiece and the material removal take place okay so now we are going to discuss about abrasive finishing in detail So magnetic abrasive finishing is one such 
unconventional in finishing process developed recently to produce efficiently and economically good quality finish on internal and external surface of tube as well as flat surface made of magnetic or non magnetic material it can be applied for magnetic as well as non magnetic material it's also a uh, finishing operation in this process usually ferromagnetic material particles are sintered with fine abrasive particles so we studied sintering it's a heating we are here we are heating to make the bonding so the ferromagnetic particles are sintered with fine abrasive particle like aluminum oxide silicon carbide cubic boron nitride or diamond and such particles are called ferromagnetic abrasive particles here the medium we are using is cutting medium we are using uh, is abrasive particles sintered with some magnetic or ferromagnetic particle so it have some magnetic properties there and it is called magnetic abrasive particle or ferromagnetic abrasive particles and force due to magnetic field is responsible for normal force causing abrasive penetration inside the workpiece while rotation of magnetic abrasive brush result in material removal in the form of chips okay so here we have a brush a temporary brush is formed by magnetic abrasive particles so that's called magnetic abrasive brush and as a result the normal force is applied by this magnetic abrasive brush as a result the material removal take place from the work surface in the form of fine chips here we can see the schematic of magnetic abrasive finishing here we can see a rotating magnetic pole this is a rotating magnetic pole rotating magnetic pole the north pole here we have a table which is magnetic and is south pole it will act as south pole here we have the work piece work piece and we have ferromagnetic material in between the uh, the upper the north pole and the south pole so it will form so it will align in magnetic uh, it get aligned due to the magnetic field aligned due to the magnetic field and it will form a brush magnetic brush so that is magnetic abrasive flexible brush and this exert this exert normal force on the workpiece and material removal taken we can see a fissure force acting on uh, on the work surface this is a work surface force is acting on the work surface through this magnetic particles and moreover this magnetic particles are nothing but ferromagnetic material sintered with abrasive material like aluminum oxide silicon carbide diamond etc so they are very hard to so this normal force together with very high hardness of the abrasive material result in the material removal take place from the work surface in the form of fine chips the form of fine chips so that is what happening in magnetic abrasive finishing maf so a north and pole north and south pole and in between we have work piece and between the work piece and north pole work piece and the magnetic magnets we have abrasive material which is sintered with the magnet of ferromagnetic material so when we apply the magnetic field so there is some align this magnetic material get aligned in magnetic field and it will form a magnet to magnetic abrasive flexible brush and force transfer take place through this magnetic abrasive material and material removal take place from the work surface so magnetic abrasive grains are combined to each other magnetically between magnetic poles along a line of magnetic force forming a flexible magnetic abrasive brush mf uses this magnetic abrasive brush for surface and edge finishing the magnetic field retain the power powder in the gap and act as a binder causing the powder to be pressed against surface to be finished
this powder means it's indeed um, it's a ferromagnetic material abrasive ferromagnetic material so it retain the magnetic field retain the powder in the gap and act as a binder causing powder to press against the surface to be finished and 3d minute and intricately curved shape can also be finished along its uneven surface controlling the excitation current of the magnetic coil precisely control the machining force of magnetic abrasive on the workpiece so we can control the excitation current to control the magnetic field to control the machining forces to control the finishing action here we can see uh, a working diagram or a diagram of magneto abrasive finishing here we can see uh, powering mechanism this is a powering mechanism so we can have some electron magnet electromagnet uh, which magnetic field can be controlled by controlling the electric field so uh, that's about magneto abrasive finishing in this process workpiece to be machined is located between two magnetic poles the gap between the workpiece and pole is filled with a magnetic abrasive powder magnetic abrasive grains are linked to each other magnetically between north and south magnetic poles along the line of magnetic force forming a flexible 2 to 5 mm long magnetic brush magnetic abrasive finishing uses this magnetic abrasive brush for surface and edge finishing the magnetic field retains the powder in the gap and act as a binder causing the powder to be pressed against the surface to be finished a rotatory a rotary motion is provided to cylindrical workpiece such as ceramic bearing rollers between magnetic poles also axial vibratory motion is introduced in the magnetic field by an oscillating motion of the magnetic poles to accomplish surface and edge finishing at faster rate and better quality this process is highly efficient and the material removal rate and finishing rate depends upon the workpiece circumferential speed magnetic flux density working clearance workpiece material and the size type and volume of volume fraction of abrasive so it's highly efficient and removal rate finishing rate all depend upon we can we depend upon workpiece circumferential speed which can be controlled magnetic flux density which can be controlled working clearance which can be controlled workpiece material that can also be varied size type and volume fraction of abrasive so the excitation current or the magnetic coil precisely control the machining force transferred to the magnetic abrasive on the workpiece since the magnitude of machining force caused by the magnetic field is very low result were reported in the literature of finishing stainless steel rollers using magnetic abrasive force to obtain final array of 7.6 nanometer from an initial array of 0.22 micrometer in 30 seconds that's from literature there are certain advantages advantages of mar it minimizes the micro crack and surface damage of the workpiece first one MAF is able to produce surface roughness of nanometer range with hardly any surface defects. The flexible magnetic brush required neither compensation nor dressing. Normally, when we have when we have when we go for normal grinding operation, we need to dress our abrasive material regularly. But here, no dressing is required. Dressing means something like sharpening the edges material surface is free of burns and thermal defects low energy consumption ecologically safe controllability of process we can control the force acting by controlling the magnetic field by controlling the rotation etc non ferrous material such as aluminium and its alloy or brass and its alloy can be finished with this case some application non ferromagnetic material like stainless steel brass and aluminium can be machined ferromagnetic material like steel finishing of bearing aerospace component 
electronic component with micrometer or sub micrometer range so that is about magnetic abrasive finishing where we use ferromagnetic material together with some abrasive material like aluminum oxide diamond etc just in there together in between two poles and and we apply pressure or even rotation and do the magnetic field uh, a abrasive magnetic abrasive brush is formed between the poles and the workpiece and it, it the force get transferred through this brush and due to the action of this abrasive material on the bath surface together with the force the material removal take place in the form of fine chips so that is about magnetic ab magneto abrasive finishing so in this lecture as a summary in this lecture we discuss about in this lecture we discussed about micro machining where machine take place in micro level or chip removal take place in micrometer range and we discuss about and we discuss about diamond turn machining where we have very sharp synthetic diamond as cutting tool material whose edge radius can be reduced up to 20 nanometer so we will get very good finish and this is used for optical material finishing of optical materials mainly used for finishing of optical materials then we discuss about some advanced finishing operation and we go for advanced finishing operation because most of the traditional finishing operations like honing grinding etc has some certain disadvantages to overcome that we go for advanced finishing operation and we discuss about abrasive flow finishing or abrasive flow machining operation which is the advanced finishing operation and where we have an abrasive material in certain polymeric material and we have two cylinders and we having piston in it and due to the piston this abrasive laden polymeric material reciprocate and to move move forward and backward and interacting with the work material to remove material in the form of fine chips from the work surface so then we will get fine finish and then we discuss about magnetic abrasive finishing where we have a magnetic material sintered with abrasive material which will form a abrasive magneto abrasive brush and it interact with the work piece and material removal take place okay so in next lecture we will discuss about some more advanced finishing operations like magneto rheological abrasive finishing iron magnetic float polishing etc thank you for listening